In this video, I want to talk to you about your logs panel in your cPanel control panel. Now, I've got two different tabs open up here to represent two different web hosting accounts and the cPanel control panels within them. For example, this one here, if you go down and look at the logs panel, you can see we've got a few different options available here. But in this one, still cPanel, it's just a different web hosting account. You can see that there are different options available here or applications. So if your control panel doesn't look exactly like one of these, don't worry. The basics that you really want to pay attention to under the logs panel is the latest visitors, bandwidth, and your AW stats, as well as your error log. Those are more than likely in every single cPanel setup on any type of web hosting account that offers cPanel. Again, latest visitor, AW stats, bandwidth, and error log. The error log, mainly because if you have errors on your website, like broken links, for example, then this can let you see them very quickly. No errors here, but that's mainly because there's no site there either. Let me take a look over at this other one here, and under error logs, and here's the information provided in most of these error logs. You've got the date that the error took place, You've got the IP address of the visitor that noticed the error. You've got the error right here, which in this case is, I believe, a 404. And you've got different types of errors that take place. But if we use this top one here, if we scroll on over, this gives you the path to the actual error itself and the page or file that is causing the error. So with this information, you can quickly get in and fix that error. So we come on back out of here, head on back over to home. That's the error log. The latest visitors gives you the IP address of that visitor, the page that they went to, the time they went there, the size of that file, where they came from, and the user agent, which is typically the browser that they're using. And we come on back here, go to home, and the bandwidth is something that you can monitor here in detail over here on the left panel usually it's right up here close to the top uh, monthly bandwidth transfer this gives you an idea as to how much bandwidth is being used throughout the month so at this point obviously there's not much to worry about because there's hardly anything there's nothing actually even registering because as the usage takes place you'll get a color guide here to kind of let you know at a quick glance if you are okay or if it's getting into the red close to the end here that you need to make some adjustments but that's the monthly transfer right there at a glance and to get the details you click on the bandwidth link there and this can give you the traffic for today for the past seven days the past 12 months and this information can come in very handy especially if you're running campaigns or you've got product launches and you can get an idea as to how much bandwidth you might need for your next campaign or your next product launch so that you're not having your visitors seeing an error page uh, bandwidth exceeded which is never a good thing and that will definitely put a damper on your day here's the breakdown of this month for the http usage the three options here are pretty much your email stuff and then the FTP and then the combined matches that total bandwidth that I just showed you in that left column on the uh, front page so that's the bandwidth if we come on back home here and we check the most important one in my humble opinion anyway and that's the AW stats this gives you a breakdown of all the traffic coming into your website and you can choose the date right here for the particular report now the reports or the information contained down here are broken down in different ways you've got the monthly history days of the month and you can see the traffic here and again these can come in very handy if you are doing any type of product launches or campaigns to generate income this can tell you how successful that was in driving traffic to a particular page or site and the days of the week that are most effective to do so I mean if you alternate your campaigns on various days of the week this information might tell you what would be a better day or what would be the worst days to try to start a campaign even the hours of the day if you're trying to set up email marketing you might find that sending out or scheduling your emails to be sent out at 11 a.m. might be a lot better than say at 7 a.m. and this takes everything into consideration including 
the countries that are visiting your site. Now, since this is more of a demonstration site, these numbers are going to be skewed accordingly. At least ways now you know where you can go to get more information on the traffic coming into your site. And you've got a lot of information over here to the side that you can just simply click on to see if robots are visiting, if authenticated users are visiting, the countries, the days of the week. These are pretty much the breakdown of what we've already seen up here. You can scroll on down further to get the even more information. And they all pretty much coincide with these clickable links over here. Click on this and it'll take you to this section of the report right here. So as you can see, all info junkies will love the free AW stats that come with your cPanel control panel. That's going to bring us to the end of this video on the logs panel in your cPanel control panel. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.